Everybody, this is Steven. I could call myself the Kisi Game. Today, it's finally here. We finally get Persona 3 Portable finally released across a lot of platforms, especially on Persona 4 Golden. Finally, all platforms as well. It got released today, and I know, strange enough, it is. And when we press on it that fast. Like, come on, really? Let me just go to configure so it just best of it. Yes, I know, strange enough it is, the Persona 3 Portable finally came. But sadly, for say the least, it's like this is the only game you're able to get. To finally got across the platforms, but I mean, back then, they had Persona 3 FES. I think it's only for PS3 or something like that. But, it's sadly for say the least, they're not gonna put this one here anymore. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it is. So, yeah. But I never played Persona 3 myself. I mean, I only played Persona 5 from this channel, like, ever since I, like, I got into Persona series, it just feels like I want to play it. So I got a lot of things to do. I had to finish it with Persona 5 Royal and Persona 4 Golden. I still got a lot ahead of me, but why not just do something like play this one? I mean, it maybe have some kind of connection, right? So, yeah, I have wanted to play this, but even then, people were like, what's the point about this? I mean, I know people really... Really appreciate it, everyone really like get those games for like very quite long time as such. But sad part is it's like most of it is the only thing that any have in Persona 3 Portable that you only get. But not the other ones like the original ones or FES, which you can only get this much. So this is the best way to do it, just put Persona 3 Portable. Because most stories are sometimes just like really confused as much. Well yeah. But I never done this as Persona 3 myself, which it might be tied into with something like this, so yeah. But honestly for sure at least, but I when I buy this, it's just like I doubt it's gonna be really expensive, but I don't think not. <laughs> and I get the feeling this game's gonna be really slightly off to say at least. This might be something slightly different how this thing goes. So anyway, let's just go start with a new game then, shall we? Oh yeah, like, if once you play Persona 3 Portable, you can play as two different kind of characters and protagonists, so like, either one male or one female, which strange enough it is, I mean, original one, it's just only him, but now decide to make this one, so like, it's like, it's like the alternative story, where like, why? I don't know why they make this something like this, it's just really strange to so. Welcome to the world of P3P, which I know people are really like this film, so... In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. Like, it still affected the whole story, right? 
Well, if you play as like a female character like that, there might be something different. Different kind of character you're playing as, or depending on the story you go. So, but on the other hand, the only original it has is just only a male version. Every Persona series is all males, so. Yeah, even that, I'm not sure you could do it like this, you're gonna make it like a female version for that, but. Eh. But choosing a male main character, you will be able to play a version very close to the original P3. Very close, but. The thing is, like. Will this mix still have a, like. Slightly different? Because P3 is more like doing a, like, visual novel system things like that. It's not really something different like you play on the PlayStation or something. But if, if I ever picked it as a, a male version of it, it might relate to something. I have no idea. It just happens, though. This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience P3, which, slightly enough, it is. I'm still new to me. Good thing you're gonna give me a pretty male version of it. The female main character added to this game is not just for female players. Well, of course, I mean, if guys can play as a female characters like that, well, yeah. She's also for veterans of P3 and P3 FES, well, matched by FES part, who want a new perspective, which I'm not sure it still is going to be to have the same stories from the FES scene or not. I get the feeling it won't be. Now, please choose a gender. Well, I know I'm going to play this, so I could just... Yeah, I'm going to play this as a male character, since I'm new to me. Since I'm not sure this is going to be affecting the whole story, like, still got the same thing as before, so... Yeah, I'm going to play as male characters. Begin the story as the male main characters? Yes. Next, choose a difficult setting. Ugh. The one thing for sure is, like, when I played Persona 4 Golden, I didn't even do much, because... The system all itself is slightly different. Like, for the battle system, for instance, it's really hard because the one of those, like, using the skills like, to use sub personas, but the, the cost of that is just really expensive. Like, how? And now they decide to just tone it down in P5. It's strange enough, it is. Your choice would not influence the storyline. Choose a difficult level that fits your comfort level. I don't know says there's beginners. For players not used to RPGs, this mode is balanced for ease of play. With this coming like baby is it? And this one is called Maniac. This, the most difficult mode, is for highly advanced players. Battles are much more difficult than the hard mode. Uh, nothing is carry over from one playthrough to the next. Nothing are you saying this is like merciless? Or something like that. Just happens like Persona 5. Uh, when I play Persona 5 Strikers, there's merciless mode I got unlocked. When I complete the whole questings or whatever it is. I think it's supposed to be more, most likely it's uh, merciless. So, can I not have another this? So, um, I'd be best to just play normal since I'm still new to this. I mean, I, in Persona 5 Royal, I play a hard one. Where you can expect people to do. So, I'm gonna play it normally. You can change the difficulty level from the command menu. Well, fine by me. I mean, you can change the difficulty so you go back to the training, so... At least good enough of this! Now, please enjoy the game. Thanks, narrator. <laughs> Whatever it is. This game is work of fiction, no person... Yeah, I knew you know that's past stuff already. But I'm really excited to say play this. Time never waits, it delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you'll be given one year. Go for it without falter, with your heart as your guide. I'll be given one year? Are you saying I'm about to die? Don't give me an idea about this. Also, let you know, there will be no cutscenes involved in this Persona 3 Portable. As if of all, this is most like a visual novel game system, what do you want to call it, so... So it's impossible to can use, like, you can see it, so... Terminal Station Evening. They just put this in, like, as an image that's key from all the, the anime cutscenes, which sadly the part about that is there's no animated cutscenes because on P3 and P3 FPS you do have animated cutscenes, but in P3 Portable 
it won't be. So, I know it'll be sad for you guys, but you just have to live on with it. The station entrance is bustling with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I heard music. I remember this. This is called Burn My Thread. Which, that. This is came from the opening scenes. And spoilers before that to the end part. Thanks for no reason to listen to that music. I just. put it to my head. It sounds Kamigami, right? I mean, back before the episode episode 5 happened, but it's, it came from this Kamigami's voice actress. Pull the trigger. No chickening out. This is like slightly different ways of. No, I can't. It's like this is like a different way to use how you able to summon personas, right? Which strange enough it is. If you play different kind of games like that, which strange strange enough it is. Like how this system works. Inside the new city passenger train, Ane Hazuru. Strangely, why didn't they give me like a protagonist appearance or something? Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. I'm not sure if some of the audio was came from the en the enemy casino itself. If it was, then I get to just put this like extract them all the pieces and put them all in, like recycle it or s something like that. The next stop is Iwa Todai. The butterfly. Igor, I know you're gonna be up to something. Like, my fate has been decided. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Oh, uh, yeah, because I play in Persona 4 Golden. Around the time they were having this school trip thing, they were on the Tatsumi Port and they were on the school, and I gotta say it, it would be spoiler for that, but I'm still new to this, so I best not to let this happen. Please take care to board before our departure. You arrive late. Yeah, sure. It's almost midnight. Now for very personal for golden. And here's the weird stuff's gonna happen when this involves. And that's how it happens. All the lights are off, I guess. Huh? And here I am. And as I said before, this is all visual novel games. Which is not possible, but it but it's still to be different when there is all but battle stuff. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Hmm? It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. <laughs> it's like he's not even care at all. It just it gets so normal. There's coffins everywhere. As you walk for the station, you notice coffin like objects lining the desert city. With blood on the ground. Did you mention about bloods? There's one giant moon up here. You did that close. It's eerily gigantic moon. <laughs> you never have a sign of that big. It's so very strange, it's like he doesn't even care a thing. It's just following along and just trying to find where place to go. Get Gukan High School, Iwatoda Dorm. Yeah, that's the name of the school that he's gonna be taking in Get Gukan High, which is the same place they were getting into for the school trip thing. This is a dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Welcome. And it's a. Uh, May 6, and I noticed that the time things on the right things is slightly like different. And that says dark hour, which is that's like a special time. This is gonna be slightly different as before than any other game, so something very special if the night occurs. And the mentioned part this next, like something about it, like 
it full moon comes out or something. Which that's a weird thing about this, but this when you play Persona 3 portable or Persona 3 regular things, that comes with a lot of time depending on the times like it's not involved with like when you progress to the story, like you had to do um the main storyline when you follow a full moon thing. So this gonna be suddenly as harder than I get exceed much though. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Yeah, I don't expect that you came here, but you're in a jail clothing, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of someone that I know. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out of you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. A contract? Oh, God. Like, to progress the whole game, then is it? There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something's written on the paper as he's holding out to you. I chose this fate of mine own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Well, it's time to put your name in there because just one person or one name in particular, people are also desperate to know, but I'm gonna stick it to the name that everyone can talk about. That's it. That's the full name. Makoto Yuki. That's the originally your first the full name of this. But be most of the lot of times so they call it Binotto, but I don't think rather not to. <laughs> Even if we just make memes that are like this name, so anyway. Proceed. Yes. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. And there he goes. The unknown boy disappeared, as if melting into the darkness. Like that thing happens. Who's there? And that's the same person, right? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Nope. Lady, miss, don't freak out about this. The girl's holding out something that looks like a gun. But that's the one he used to put on the forehead and not... Wait! <gasps> and it's back to normal. What? And it's back to normal. Which strange thing over there is like, it's still affected the whole dark hour thing, is it? But now it's just changed into, a, like, normal or something like that. I guess it's depending on, like, it to keep the whole dark hour or something, whatever. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Okay. Nice to meet you, Mitsuru. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I'm surprised enough for this, it put, like, him in it. It's a strange thing really, if you're playing as a female character, they would say, like, it's okay for her. Which is, this could be something interesting enough for this, but... Yeah. I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. So, more likely the same year as him, like... I'm not sure, like, she starts off on second year, just like when you play as a different kind of main protagonist, so... Strange enough it is, it's like, most of them were like... Like, a first year when you play as Persona 4 Golden. And then... And for Persona 5, then most of it have, uh... A dirtier one, which is Makoto Nijima and Haru. And for the first few years is Kasumi. I still got like a long thing to go, so yeah. Hi, I'm Yukari. Mm. Nice to meet uh, you. Yeah. It just like greens. It's best not to ask us like why you have the gun. Nice to meet you too. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. It's strange never this. It's like, he doesn't have any parents, right? Maybe it's something to do about the internet, right? The Montori Sanka Floor Hallway at the first door. We didn't even put the music there. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Um... Uh, What's that contact for? Does that kid live here too? I'm curious if they know about that young boy there. What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. I guess he wasn't there to begin with. 
Maybe it must be his imagination. He kind of doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Except for the fact that there's a lot of coffins and the blood in the road. Eh, he doesn't even care much. Um, what do you mean? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. I mean, Jesse doesn't even care about it at all. He's just like... Blinding normal, if he's like face of his. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Kari walked down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Use the movement buttons to move the cursor. Hold on the cancel button to make the cursor move faster. Also, press the guide button to display all the icons that can be accessed. Press the guide button again to hide the icons. Press the command menu button to access config, load data, and title screen. Okay. So, move like this. Oh, no. Okay, just W A S D to move around the radical things. No, the mouse ain't not point, so can I press tab? Yep, I can press tab there, but there's no safe thing, which is really strange how it is, so um So press enter like this. You're tired today. Okay. Enter means interacting. I thought for sure you had to use mouse to move around the radical thing. So yeah, this is slightly different than before. You don't do walking around the whole area things, just like Persona 3, Persona 3, FPS, so... Yeah, Persona 3 Portable is gonna be for like, the visual novel style things, but when you do stuff in battle, you do have to move this around here, so... Yeah, you gotta get used to it. We should go to bed early. I mean, why can't you? We had to sleep, so... Yeah, it also showed like the icon like. Sorry, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. I'm just trying to speak. So yeah, that's the icon showed like I think it's only like evolved with moon things, right? And it's only like two days until moon, full moon comes up. So yeah, this is how it happens. Maybe depend like every month with full moon period. Depend on a bit days, so which is why I bought the calendar there. Which is showing you the, the icons of like when the full moon comes or something like that, so. Open the door, ignore her. Don't! I'm not gonna be that something that way bad. Just open the door. Good morning! Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Senpai? So it's just. Uh, dirty ear then. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. Inside the new city passenger train, Asaha Zuru, which is the same thing before. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? Yeah, maybe something like that. This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Yeah, I heard that. Don't know so why or how. It's best not to know. Oh look, you can see it now. This is it. Gekkon High. A school I'll be attending there. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekkon High. You're gonna love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. Okay, so you're not gonna guide me to where? The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Um... No, not really. It's best not to ask her, so... Hey! About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later! There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. What's been going on over there? Press the sub menu button to select an area and go there immediately. Ma please make use of this function to move around. What? 
mean Ah, F is for auto for transportation stuff everything, so. Um What's going on the bullet board then? Class roster are posted. You can't find your name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. Why a small note on my name? Makoto Yuki, Class F. You look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takiba is also on the list. Seems that you will be the same class as her. Very interesting. I wonder what's been going on with everyone else there. Two students are talking. Angry girl. Hey Cass, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find us somewhere to change it to some normal clothes. Eh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. And where's the balloons board with the home room's poster? It's right there! You're in class F, Cass! Oh, so I'm going to the same class as him? And the name is Cass, or is it? I get the feeling that most of them, my students gonna be have, like, most likely some social media to deal with, so. I'm in a different home room, so I can't keep an eye on you. <sighs> I worry about you sometimes. Well, anyways, the good go preserve to go to the faculty office that easily, is it? Unless it. Okay, just straight to it that fast, so. Why does this teacher have a helmet? A man wearing a caputo who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. A foreign male? Um, who is this weird guy there? It's really strange enough it is, but... Do you see? Every man must have a passion spirit, summer spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great deeds. That's fantastic, that! Where you came from, France? This is a weird how you put it, say it like a Z word, like almost say it like TH or something like that. They teach in a Bushido, I point in Zen as they are that now. Oh god, I can't even do this, like. Can't say how what he's saying is, but seriously, and you have a fan on as well. Like what? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You may not be a na native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. And you seem to be having fun. Yeah, it's not too so. Eh, faculty level side down. And um, who would that be? You're not really her, is it? Man, I'm busy enough spoiler, so... Huh? Library? That's yeah, strange. It's on a map, but... Where am I? She felt like she's lost. Oh, boy. Anyway, inside the faculty office, that's the place we're going. It's a faculty office. Oh, are you the new student? Yes. Makoto Yuki. 11th grade, correct? 11th, so get the feeling in the second year then? I didn't get bit much about going on meetings exactly, but sure, whatever. The teacher's flipping through pages in the file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents. <gasps> yeah, it's shocking, is it? I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. So I get the feeling it has something to do with like, there was an accident involved from him. That he lost his parents. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Composition? Like... I studied, studied about like English class, right? I mean, back in, in here... Here in high school, we most likely have a college change involved with composition English class. So, I get the feeling it's more almost like literature, but something like that. Nice to meet you, with an exclamation mark for that. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. Yep, I get the feeling. And your car was next to it, so she's gonna be shockingly to the surprise of this, so. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. 
Really? That fast? Follow me. As you begin the new school year. And of course the same principle as before. It's nothing changes. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. I'm not sure this sounds the same thing from before, but uh, really impressive. When applied to student life, this means The Prince continues with his speech. Like how long? Psst, hey. The student behind you is trying to get your attention. Who? You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Who are you? And how do you know her? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? Why would you ask? My uh, best just she doesn't. Really? Oh, you asked her? No, I didn't. I just thinking about it. Wow, I'm surprised. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. You hear lots of people talking. After school. Really? That fast? We're not going to get a chance to start the first day, is it? Jeez. Homo's over. Your first after school session is about to begin. What's up, dude? That's a scene. How's it going? Yep, yeah, it might be you. You're the one who just spoke to me. What do you want? Oh, come on. Let me introduce myself, at least. <laughs> like, why are you just coming here in the first place, then? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. Really, though? So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Eh, not much. I mean, when I was just like, do like this, when I go to a new school like that, I didn't get much. Hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. Sure, whatever you said. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It must be fate. Fate? Yeah, right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Well, you didn't think of that, Junpei. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? No. No, I didn't. Uh, uh... I bet... It's like he doesn't even know much, so... Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? <laughs> Jimmy, don't even think about it. Think it sounds like... Wait, are you actually did it, Jane? What? L last night? W wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! Yeah, best not to. Listen! I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Well, really? You have your own club that fast. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. Says you. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Already? What is up with that? It's like P5 all over again. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. With we just my face like that. Yeah. He decided to go home with Junpei. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? Never thought about as much. You'd be joining as a new member though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made a small talk with Junpei as you went home. Gee, time went that bad, is it? It's just only my first day, is it? There's a sign-in sheet and the counter. You can save your game at the sign-in sheet. 
Oh, so this is like a safe point there. Wow. Welcome back. Okay. What will you do? Just save. I kind of like this icon there. And also, this is almost like exactly the same thing from when you play PSP. Like PlayStation Portable, what do you want to call it? Or PS Vita. But. Yeah, there's something like that. I kinda like the icon there. Anyway. What's been going on here, Mitsu? You really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Why not? Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. Okay, so... We'll just, like, go back to your room, right? We'll just get straight to it, right? Will you go back to your room for today? I mean, there's nothing to do for today, so best do it then. If you're tired, you should get some rest. Later at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuri was reading the book. A young man, I'm pretty sure the same roommate then. I'm going out for a bit. Ah, uh, this guy. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. What's with the icon kind there of with a book there? I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. What have you been up to? This isn't a game, Akihiko. Another day, and tomorrow's will be a full moon. You'll hear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about the bathroom? Why are you talking about bathroom? No! Not that one! I mean the story about the first year student. The first year student? Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. Really? Interesting stuff going on. If her mother tried to talk to her, she only mutters to her, It's coming. It's coming. What it coming? Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? The first bell has rung. Is that what's been going on here in the news then? And of course, not class in session, which straight up it is, it's like slightly different as before then. Open your textbook, and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzu Kasai. <sighs> Why me? Why him? I've read it, I've read it Utsubo Kobuto. Why well, you don't like the book then? He became famous as a singer, but he also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. I'll just bring Kubuto's book next time. Hey Junpei! Were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Huh? Um. Psst. Who does she like? Um. Uh, Fuihiko Yotsuma Mura? I mean, Fuihiko, the one thing, it's almost like, it's almost like similar names from Danglan Patu, but Yos Yoshi Mura? I'm not sure it is. She says she's not like Zenzu Kasai. So, it's supposed to be Utsubo Kabuta? That's right! So, you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. All because of me that I help you out, Jinbei. Man, you saved my bacon, Makoto. Hear your classmates whispering. Makoto gave him the answer? He must pay attention to class. Become slightly more popular. Okay. Your charm has increased. Okay, I got social status up that fast. <laughs> Even on the first day and the, the second day of class. Class ended for today. There's nothing to do, so you decided to go back to the dorm. Straight to it, huh? But tomorrow's gonna be the f like something's gonna happen. The dormitory lunch. Yukari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, he's back. So this is our new guest. Hey, who you might be. 
Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. So why, uh, Shuji Ikutsuki, uh, the chairman of the board, come here exactly? Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Nah. Uh, say if you say it like uh, I work, so. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Um. Why here? I'm curious to know why. To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? I saw more. Um. The other night I saw. I'm curious to know. You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Not because of the confidant in the blood of the world, is it? Do you have another question? Geez, I got like not a lot of things to talk about. I always had that, so who is this here? There were only four students in this dorm. Only four? Really? Did no one else that live here? You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. There's another guy there which is ran off for some reason. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? I guess that's all it is, so. Then I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Why? As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Shouldn't me say the early bird gets the worms? Something like that? Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> You're making it just a weird pun like that, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. You should rest for today. Straight toy mini, huh? But something's gonna happen. You decide to return to your room and sleep. It's better to see you like sleep like that. Later, at the third room in the dormitory, we just something's gonna happen. Working hard? Why is this this hole here? Why is this a machine that is in the dormitory room? Why? <laughs> this is something really makes no sense how this stuff works. So how are you able to set up this first place? So how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Are you spying on me? You're weird. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Yes, that's gonna happen. Meanwhile, in the back alley of Tetsumi Port Island. That sounds like gonna happen. <sighs> this sucks. A beat music is playing from the radio that the man drew away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. Kirijo? Is this like the same thing for Mitsuro? The time is now midnight. Which is midnight strokes? Dark hours upon us. Then there's a crazy set of vault, and I'll still blood there. What the? And this guy's like freaking out already. Like, what's happening to me? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what's up with him? Like something happened? Back at the certain room in the dormitory. I get the feeling this is supposed to be most likely one of the animated cutscenes, which, as it before, it's impossible you can't have this cutscene there, so... It's very sad. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. <laughs> Even the book where says, like, dark hour things, what, what does that mean? It's like, it must be get hit something? During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. 
I'm curious to know why does this book didn't work exactly, but I guess not. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Really? Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Would this have something really creepy? Master. Master Makoto Yuki. Who's that voice? Oh, am I gonna face Igor? Am I gonna have to meet him? Let's go to sorry fast and expect it. Of course, amazing the velvet room music. Who could have thought about this? Welcome to the velvet room. Where's some kind of elevator, right? But strange how it is because when you play any kind of different series of persona, it is sometimes just slightly different. But it's been one hand saying you, Igor. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Still the same as always. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Well, although the residents might be slightly different when I play as, diff as a different protagonist, am I? Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Yeah, I know that already. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. What does that young boy just give me? The paper you sign at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. It's really strange, there's like doors there and some of the doors have curtains on it, which... What that's supposed to mean exactly? You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract, and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Which, something's gonna happen at the end, right? That comes with choice evolve. <laughs> it's like he doesn't care as much, so I understand. Hold on to this. What is it? Velvet key. I got a velvet key. So I got key items with me. Till we meet again. And it's now April the night. It's full moon happens. You feel like you had a strange dream. Time to go to school. Like usual. Yo! Man, I'm so sleepy today. It's time like this, it's best to sleep there in class. Please don't jump bait. Don't do this when you're in class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? <laughs> don't sleep in class, yeah, you best not to. What? Why do you have to be so serious? That feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. What you been doing last night? You didn't stay up all night, did you? Oh, but we have a classic lecture today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Okoda. What's that? Oh, that Mr. Okoda? It's strange time it is. Why are you calling it like that? Ahem. I'm Mr. Okoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. Okay. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people said classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. No, it's a bit nice to. Hey, are you listening to me? Wake up, children! Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Aishi Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. 
you youngsters might call it the bomb. <laughs> really? We did a D with it. <sighs> I can tell you people are zoning out. You stay up and listen to the lecture. Your academics are secrets, which means knowledge, right? Which well, might never is, so. How can you tell by the stats then? You decide to go home with Junpei. Paloina Mall. That's a one big place. What's other like that? Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs too. Karaoke? Don't you mean supposed to be karaoke? It's really strange how people who pronounce the say like this. Uh, what do you call it? It's like karaoke. But maybe it's actually karaoke, not karaoke. Jeez. I'm not sure how even able to get that spelling exactly. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Station is bustling with students on their way home. Kinda like the new stone. Back. Hey, me too. I you stay on the 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 reception there. The moon's beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by m moonlight once in a while, but it's full moon. But something happened, right? Might as well keep talking to them. There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but it's just a students here now. It'll be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? You're right. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mr. Senpai just doesn't do things like that. I'm not sure anyone can. It's, it's like a treasure vault full of money we can't spend. Okay. Um, the only thing I can hit do is just press the tab here to configure, but not do main menu or something. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. Really? We just weird technology like that? That is something. But anyway, I'm just gonna save. I'm not sure I want to do it now or something like that, but I'll just do it. Sometimes when I go in for the like, next recording, I sometimes go in for like the next uh, save files. So, yeah. I'll just go to my room. Because there's nothing to do. It's just like, straight towards it immediately then. Uh, I know this is a calendar there. It's like the same thing from Persona for a golden that the he have. Of course it's showing the 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 icon showing about like about the moonlight thing, so and we got the events here. Shower Day Children's Day Greenery Day. And uh, this one's twenty nine. Jeez. I'm not sure when did this game was released. It's like almost like 20 years ago. Like golly. And it takes it took time for like 2009. Or 2009. But seriously. It just like time changes or so something. Anyway. Uh, midterms. Oh great. Midterms on me. Marine. I get a feeling on the 8th and 7th for summer vacation, so... And that's all it is, it's all into that March 3rd. And this one's for the finals. Hmm. I guess it's the only thing he got, so... Oh, okay. Anyway, I have to go to bed, because there's nothing to do, so... But something's gonna happen since Don God was upon us. It's so very strange with this weird noise effect. It's not a room in the dormitory, which is the same thing like a, it's like a control room or something. How is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. That's very strange for you to spy on me. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation, but this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. 
But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. Is it really? I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. Well, emergency call from Asai rang through the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Does something happen, Akihiko? Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Where was the last time you had to come back? Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. Jeez, what? The, what's going on here? Akihiko! I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. Why does it sound like me so happy for you? This is no time to joke around. I know. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. It's a shadow, is it? This isn't good. What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You sure about that? You led it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I I'm going! Your room. You're woken by a loud noise. I have to go take a look. Go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in. Really? I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. <laughs> it's uh, is it okay? It's something like that. So. Hurry downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. Wait. Take this, just in case. Give me a weapon. Kari, hand you over a short sword. Okay, let's go. You're just trying to give me a weapon. Don't want to try your first entrance, the first floor at the rear entrance. Alright, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. So what's going on? Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. Wait, right, saying there's multiple? Second floor. What was that? It's getting closer! It's a big shadow, is it? Keep moving! Hurry! The dormitory rooftop. <sighs> Sorry, there's no cutscenes for this part. The door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Really? You think there's someone on the inside? Like that? Huh? Oh god. Shadow's beard. With that face! Oh god! You gotta be kidding me! That would've done this very really sooner. He climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. Yeah, something's gonna happen. Something that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Yeah, sound like f get confidence, Yukari. Okay, straight to the battlefield, really. Here goes. You can't, I don't think it's not gonna work. Uh, here, all your music was a bit off. I guess my turn then. Yeah, this should have been an anime cursing for that. That still sounds funny in the cutscenes, though. Thou art I, and I am thou. Uh, 
own son is that right? What the heck? And his personas are in control of something? That killed him that fast. <gasps> that was quite faster than I expected, but still, as I said before, it would have a, like an academic cussing for that, but I wouldn't really we wish we have like remake the whole Persona 3, it'll be wise enough for this and put some cutscenes with it. But I don't think it will be possible, so. Yeah, which I said, just get used to it. What on earth was that? Huh. And back to normal. Sun's swell of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. He obtained a new persona. Strangely, just transformed into something weird. Mega achievement: the other self. Which is really weird. Is it over? I'm not surprised you're still alive. <gasps> More coming! I thought we're done for! It's still moving! A piece of a shadow is heading for Yukari. Peace? And is there more? No! Get away from me! You have to save her. What choice do I have to do? Oh boy, here comes this amazing music I like the most. Oh boy, this is one thing. And now there's like a revolver. Like doing this weird command thing, so. Anyway. And you only skill have a dash. Wow, that took care of it that fast. Yep. Done. <laughs> well, that went that fast. <laughs> Sweet. Like I said, that went that fast. You feel this urge of energy reside after a recent battle. Well, there's are some of those, like, my social stats things. My academics, charm, and courage. So it's only involved with three stats, not longer five. And I noticed some of the Japanese words with it, which is strange. And that's how, like, the smiley face on gone. Maybe it's something different, like, take energy from doing bad or something? Whatever. And I could create level 3 personas. Some desire to change. Oh, new skills already? And that sounds really different, so. Orpheus learned Aki. Are there skill cards as well? You can get skill cards from the Persona each as well? That's something. The monster disappeared. You think your car is safe, too. You feel exhausted. After the awakening? Yeah, something like that. You're losing consciousness. You get the feeling most of them already have their own persona themselves, so... Yeah, this is something quite I expect this much. Are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? Answer me! Hi, Igor. Back in the bedroom again. This is... the velvet room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. I finally like my own power, right, Igor? You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Which is really strange, uh, depending on, like, how to get your own persona like this, depending on, like, if you play a different kind of series, like, I play Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5 Royal, Based on like how you get your own personas, and depending on like whether you think into like the way to fight back and finally unleash it to yourself, or trying to finally understand about yourself, so something like that. Persona. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Mask. Which is a shame to have no mask evolve. When you use your persona ability, 
you must channel your inner strength. Which is strange, like you had to use a revolver to summon forth the persona. Which is strange. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. But it be depending on who you're gonna be in social link. Please remember that. But I'm gonna have a hard time dealing with this, this kind of situation. Time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Bye then. Oh my god, time went that fast? Oh my god, is he having a coma? That's just something unexpected. Your head is getting clearer. And now I'm in the hospital. It, it's been like, what? Like, f about two weeks? How the heck did that happen? You can see a white ceiling. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's present beside you. You're awake. Um, how do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. How close is it? The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Just exhausted? Not even like how long has I been? Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. What I do? The power you used. We call it Persona. Yeah, we heard that about what we... And those creatures you defeated are shadows. Our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. Why are you telling me this? My dad died in an accident when I was little. Oh, so something relatable like him. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? Wait, are you saying you're going on a separate way for your mom? I stay with her? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. That's like quite a long time. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. That sounds cool with Zin, since the stranger with Mitsuru. Because her last name is Kirijo. It sounds like she's rich or something. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekokan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. Your first time, Billy? I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. It's not your fault. Thanks. But still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself. I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Uh, we appreciate it. All right. I'm going to get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Bye. Okay. I guess I'll be a stay in bed for a bit. Stay in the hospital bed. And now I'm back to normal days. Then. Yo, no time to see. What's up? Do you have this hit stomach or something? Oh yeah, Junpei. You didn't know what happened to that back then. Anyways, I got something to tell you. You're full of energy. You got some plans going on? Dude! I am just fine! Forget the old Junpei. This is a real me. You should cheer up too! After all, you got me for a friend. Jeez, someone's full of energy today. That's what I've been saying. I could hear you from all the way over here. Huh? You two came separately today even though you guys are in the same dorm? 
Ugh, we're all tired of hearing you talk about that. Makoto-kun, are you feeling better? Sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning. But Ikutsu-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. I get the feeling something they do because I don't like persona powers, is it? Mr. Ono? Oh god, one with a samurai hat, Hamlet. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see a big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. <sighs> I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting until then. No, I'm paid to do this, so I gotta... It's tough being the adult. Next is... Do the drama period? When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I just ask a question at random, and I'll call it a day. Hmm. Hey Junpei! What was the style of house in the Dunman period called? Uh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Quick, Mikolo, what the heck is he talking about? Uh, mud huts, evaluated house, caves? I don't even know. You mean a back loss with that? Um. Sad part is, there's no like giving some kind of like. Like, giving what their answer was thinking about. So, sadly enough, it is, it doesn't have one. It's like happens before Persona 5 happening, so. Um. That's really hard to choose. Is it uh, the evaporated house? No, oh, it's no use teaching you guys if you're going to get the simplest process wrong. Really? It's not? Well, it's all be fine once we hit the age of Katanas. Whoa, that's all I get for the wrong answer? Huey doesn't care. The answer you gave was wrong. Well, what was it then? You didn't give me, like, what the heck it's supposed to mean. Class are in it for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. He said to go back early. Okay, straight toward the melee then. There's no one in the lounge. You were told to go to the fourth floor. You can now create quit state data from the command menu. Oh, really? You continue playing from the quick state, select continue from the title screen. The layout and progress of the current floor will be reset. It will start at the beginning of the floor. Wait, does that mean I can do this? Oh, thank goodness. Save in the current state and return title screen. Well, okay. That we patient it, so. I'll just get a save here. I think it's best to just call it off for today, since this is my first uh first day of the playing it, so Yep. That's how it is for Persona Day Portable. I know the sad part is that people are disappointed, like thinking like it's not the same without Persona 3 or Persona 3 FPS, but you gotta just have to get used to it since you can play as like as a male protagonist or a female protagonist. Well, you have to get used to it. So even there are no cutscenes, no enemy cutscenes. You haven't seen that like was before, and I don't think they're not gonna be able to like some extra story from the FES. So it'll be impossible. So well, I guess that's all this for Persona 3 Portable. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I had to put this in another playlist as well for the in the future. And I gotta keep, I had to continue playing on the other ones as well. And that's when I gotta do that in the future, so I got a lot of things to do. So, yeah, that's pretty much for Persona 3 Portable. If this video, hit that like button too. Light them up! If you want to see go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!